from his childhood in Mississippi to his rise to stardom starting in Memphis, Tennessee, and his conquering of Las Vegas, Nevada, Elvis Presley becomes the first rock and roll star and changes the world with his music. That's the description of this movie that you can find on IMDb. Unfortunately, this movie is not really about Elvis Presley. There's a lot of Elvis Presley in this film, swaggering and groaning and sweating. But there's so little about his inner life, the movie keeps him just there as an idea. The movie fails to move Elvis Presley character past caricature and towards something like personhood. The movie delivers the romantic ideal of an Elvis Presley movie, but if you're after revelation, intrigue, and meaningful aspect in the story, that's indefinitely short supply. This movie is so adoring of Elvis Presley's style and yet so disinterested in its subject. Austin Butler gives a performance worthy of the musical legend, but he's buried alive under a roller coaster of weak biopic tropes. Rather than carving a meaningful path to guide Elvis Presley through history, the movie simply floats him through the years with non-stop music and combined with endless series of biopic cliches at a very high tempo. The action moves so fast but with so little weight. The movie presents the spectacular but has little to say when the lights are off and it's just the man grasping to find purchase in the making of his own legacy. If you're Elvis Presley fans, you will probably get everything you want from the performance and the show-stopping glitz of the musical numbers, but nobody will learn anything you didn't already know. This 159 minutes movie is so turgid and shallow, it adds little to our understanding of an icon. Much of the film's runtime is exhausting and irksome, it's too preoccupied with being gaudy and loud. The songs themselves can be thrilling when they're encored in reality, but most of them come from nowhere, like floating at random out of the broken jukebox. The movie meanders about far too much for its own good, as it jerks and rattles all over the place, looking for shape and purpose in every direction and finding little of it. The narration from Tom Parker is meant to offer some narrative guidance, but his mutterings jump around erratically, giving the movie some odd storytelling choice. Overall, this movie is not really worth its 159 minutes runtime. The musical performances are fine, but without any meaningful story and plot of its main character, it's really exhausting. We do not recommend to watch this movie in theaters. Just wait on your streaming service.